when Mr. President resumed office, he discovered that very many projects, very many policies were narrowed to serve certain interests. And that had given rise to abandonment of projects. So the whole idea of transformation agenda is not only to shift in the attitude, but is to have a shift in conceptions and a, a, a shift in policy making process and decisions. Under the transformation agenda, you now have projects targeted at the greatest number of people for their greatest good. They target certain social class of people that actually needed upliftment. Necessarily, coming from this background, you will now know why certain projects are of priority to this government. In the area of uh, uh, road network, you now have major arterial roads being rehabilitated. You have major critical infrastructure in that area being de developed. Take, for instance, in uh, Benue, Oweto Bridge to connect the west, uh, the south, east to the north is critical. Then coming to education, the Alamajri and Out of School Children program became more critical. Then stabilizing the university system also became more critical. And across board, you have such intervention. You also have new ports being developed. Being developed, you have in the power sector being privatized for the first time. And uh, we are expecting that the effect will be so, so great, not on individuals, but on the generality of uh, the people. The whole idea to, and what we aim at when we talk about transformation agenda, is generally to give, to give the, the economy a new, a new look, and to make the economy quite elastic, and to prepare it for private participation and indeed for everybody to feel at ease without having contact with government directly to have something to do to earn a living. The policies that have been introduced are certainly beginning to pick up and Nigerians are beginning to appreciate them, to enjoy them and to participate in them. I give you one instance. Through the UN program, we can now say that you now have a crop of Nigerian youths who no longer wait for employment, but who certainly would want to start their own businesses and get going, and in a short while become employers of labor. And of course, through the programs in agriculture, the Nagropreneur program, you also have young Nigerians, I encountered one recently, who no longer wait for employment, but want to be an entrepreneur in the agricultural sector. Now, a number of them had started. Give them the next year sustaining the policy. You experience a huge, massive revolution in this country, where many school leavers will no longer wait for government. That's the only way the economy can grow to accommodate everybody. So we expect in the next four years, God willing, that uh, Nigerians will actually experience a new Nigeria, a new wave of development, a new attitude, a new direction of thoughts. And uh, indeed, they'll be happy to have voted Mr. President. One thing I can say as a personal experience with the President is that certainly he's deeper than many people imagine. He thinks through every action he wants to take and he detaches his self-interest from whatever action he wants to take as the president of Nigeria. When people clamored for restructuring Nigeria, for why this is this and why this is that, at a time nobody expected it. Boldly, Mr. President called for national conference and he said, yes, let's discuss Nigeria. And whatever you tell me to do, I will do. And you realize that he had promised the nation that he would do everything possible to implement the report of the National Conference. My appeal 
to the good people of Nigeria would be that we should be careful not to be carried away by propaganda. We should receive lies from the truth. And the truth of the matter is that the last, the last uh, four years of this administration, we have started a level of revolution that will actually advance this country. And if Mr. President is returned to office, he will have the opportunity to consolidate on those developments. And my prayer is that we support him to return and Nigerians will be happy for it.